In this video, we shall study about food chains, food webs and tropic levels. We will see different examples because questions in UPSC prelims are often asked on different examples. For example, in 2014 prelims, the following question was asked. Which of the following is the correct sequence of a food chain? Options are diatoms, crustaceans and herrings in different order. If you don't know the meanings of diatoms, herrings or what they even look like, this question becomes very difficult to answer. Therefore, we shall study as many food chain examples as possible. Since there are a vast number of food chains and all of them cannot be covered in this video, we made a PDF document that contains a lot of examples along with images of different species in the food chain. This PDF is available in our newly started Telegram channel. Link to this is given in the description box below. Let us see what is a food chain. Living things survive by eating other living things. You cannot eat rock or glass or mud. They are non-living things. So, one species eats another species. That species is in turn eaten by another species. This forms a sequence which is called a food chain. Food chain shows which species is directly dependent on another for their nourishment. Here comes the concept of tropic levels. A food chain has to have a starting point where the producers produce food by using non-living things such as minerals, water and sunshine. The producers who are at the beginning of food chain are called autotropes. Auto means self or one's own and trophy means nourishment, the action of eating food. Producers produce organic food from inorganic substituents such as minerals, water, carbon dioxide and sunshine. Using these inorganic materials, autotrophs produce food for themselves and storing. The stored food will be a food for next tropic level. Tropic levels are numbers that start from autotrophs. Autotrophs are tropic level 1. Only tropic level 1 organisms can produce food. All levels above level 1 depend on their lower tropic level for food. Hence, they all are called heterotrophs. Another term for heterotrophs is phagotrophs. Energy moves from tropic level 1 to tropic level 2, from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5 and so on. But energy never moves in the reverse direction. Let us consider an example of a food chain. Grasses are eaten by grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are eaten by frogs. Frogs are eaten by snake and snakes are in turn eaten by eagle. Grasses are tropic level 1. Grasshoppers are tropic level 2, frogs are level 3, snake is level 4 and eagle is level 5. Grasses are producers. Grasshoppers who eat them are called herbivores. And herbivores are eaten by carnivores and carnivores are eaten by top carnivores. Another way of referring them is producers, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer and quaternary consumer. It is very rare for tropic level 6 and above to exist. This is because of 10% law. According to this law, when energy transfer takes from one tropic level to another, only 10% of energy is available for the next tropic level. The other 90% of energy is lost as heat and in respiration. For example, if energy received by sun is 100%, the useful energy that is stored by autotropes is only 10% of it. Remaining 90% is lost as heat and in the process of respiration. Herbivores which are at tropic level 2 consumes this 10% energy. The law applies in this case also. 10% of this energy is stored as useful energy available to next tropic level. 90% is lost as heat and respiration. Since only 10% of received energy is available for subsequent levels, available energy goes on decreasing as we move to higher tropic level. Therefore, tropic levels higher than 6 generally do not exist. Let us see few more examples. Plants are eaten by mice and mice are eaten by badgers and badgers are eaten by bobcats. Phytoplanktons are eaten by zooplanktons and zooplanktons are eaten by fish, fish are eaten by seals and seals are eaten by great white shark and planktons are eaten by snail Snail is eaten by mackerel and mackerel is eaten by shark. Planktons are microorganisms in a water body that are unable to swim. Fruits are eaten by monkeys and monkeys are eaten by monkey eating eagle also known as Philippine seagull. If you have observed, there is something common in all these food chains. 
द ट्रॉपिक लेवल वन आर प्रोड्यूसर्स इन ऑल ऑफ दिस फूड चेन्स द प्रोड्यूसर्स आर प्लांट सच एस ग्रास फाइटो प्लैंक्टन फ्रूट्स एट्सेट्रा दिस टाइप इज कॉल्ड ग्रेजिंग फूड चेन देर इज अनदर टाइप कॉल्ड डेट्राइटस फूड चेन इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डेड डिकेईंग ऑर्गेनिक मैटर फॉल एंड लीव्स विच आर डेड डिकेईंग ऑर्गेनिक मैटर्स आर ईटन बाय अर्थ वर्म्स अर्थ वर्म्स आर ईटन बाय ब्लैक बर्ड एंड ब्लैक बर्ड्स आर ईटन बाय हॉक हियर अर्थ वर्म्स आर प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स दे आर कॉल्ड डेट्राइटी वोर्स द फूड चेन स्टार्ट विथ डेड डिकेईंग ऑर्गेनिक मैटर The food chain starts with dead organic decaying matter in detritus food chain. It is to be noted that there is a difference between decomposers and detritivores. Detritivores eat dead organic materials. Decomposers do not eat but absorb nutrients through external chemical and biological process. Decomposers absorb nutrients at molecular level. Detritivores eat and break down the dead organic material. They cannot absorb externally. The examples of detritivores are earthworms, millipedes, wood lice, sea stars, sea cucumber, crabs and lobsters, dung beetles, termites, etc. The examples of decomposers are fungi including mushrooms, bacteria, etc. There is another term for decomposers called saprotrophs. Saprotrophs are nothing but decomposers such as mushrooms and bacteria. Another term for decomposers is osmotrophs. These are just few examples. Lot more examples with images are given in a PDF that is available in our Telegram channel. Link is given in the description box below. The next concept is food web. All right, so far we learned food chains. but nature is a little more complex the food web depicts the way energy transfer takes place among different species in an ecosystem for example grasses are eaten by mouse and mouse is eaten by snake and snake is eaten by hawk but grasses are also eaten by grasshoppers and lizards eat grasshoppers and lizards are eaten by hawk snake also eats lizards and some grasshoppers are directly eaten by hawk caterpillar also eats grass and lizard eats caterpillar and lizard is consumed by snake rabbits also eat grass and hawks eat rabbits hawk also eats mouse directly in nature a species generally relies on more than one species for its nutritional needs This ensures availability of food and makes the ecosystem stable. If snakes disappear from the ecosystem, hawks can still feed on lizards or mouse. That makes the system stable. Food webs properly represents the tropic patterns and their interdependence in an ecosystem. Food chain is a simple isolated way of representing energy transfer. Thank you for watching and join our telegram channel for supplementary notes as we cannot mention every example in the video subscribe to our channel clarity of concept